M0FXB, welcome to my channel on the RFinder B1 here and we've got the new satellite tracking software and it's version 2.1 beta 2. Uh, it seems to be working fine. I will just show you what this does. Now one thing it does, it's added ultra low power. So if you tap here when you're programming a channel, it does say ultra low just there. Uh, so that's, I think it's 0.05 watts. So we'll close that. Let's go to the main thing, which is the satellite tracking and the control, the Bluetooth control of, a, of an antenna. Uh, so let's just go to swipe across and we'll hit the satellite. And straight away, I know it says GPS error here, but ignore that. So choose the one you want to track. And this is the, the new intergalactic repeater database, uh, which only our finder themselves do. That's, we will select, let's select one that I recognize, so ISS, and we've got this here. Now, I don't actually know what the green means, but I'm guessing that the long, the, the more green you get, the nearer it is, and it's getting, you know, it's getting ready, for, it's getting nearer and nearer to your location, so you can get your antenna ready. I've no, I don't really use satellite, but I do plan to have a go at this. I haven't got the automatic antenna, uh, but I think I can set something up temporary, uh, just to, to, to follow these instructions. So when you tap it, <clears throat> you'll get this come through, look. Now, if you're a keen satellite operative, you'll understand what all of this says. So you've got the word azimuth, is it? Uh, elevation, altitude, distance, ETC. You can see the path that it's taking. Remember that this doesn't just move the antenna for you if, if you want to, by, I think you hit simulate. It actually sets the frequencies for you and changes them as needed for, you know, to do with the Doppler shift as the satellite is coming towards you and moving away from you. So as I move here up here, you've got mode. If you look here, it says mode V APRS, mode V FM. It does say the word crew as well. Mode VV, so VHF, VHF. Temperature. Temp off, not temperature, temp off frequency, SSTV. So you've got all this information. Imagine all the work that's gone into doing this. Now, if I hit simulate, I'm, I think that's what would move the antenna, but obviously I haven't got an antenna. No paired devices found. And if you look on the R Finder website, you'll see the, uh, the antenna there, and, and it comes with a, you know, it comes with a rotator that moves the antenna. And so you've got the track button there. And now, I, again, I think you need the, the antenna, I still think this is pretty cool. It's all included as part of what you pay for uh, with your yearly subscription and buying an R, R Finder device. Let's go back, choose another one. Now we've got, I notice another list here. If you do the drop down arrow here, yeah, you've got all these selections. Just dim that down a bit. So let's have a look. We've got FM transponder, amateur, Military, weather, engineering, science, resource, and educational. So let's hit uh, the obvious one is amateur. Let's do that again. Let's go to military. Now we can go to educational. These three dots, what are they? Print GPS location. Let's choose one. Loading. Select another one, a completely different path there as it passes by. This one here. It's so cool, isn't it? Go back, let's choose, let's choose science. And we'll choose the top one. I think that the top one is always gonna be the nearest one because look, the green line is longer. And that one looks like it's not very far, you know, it's not going to be long. There is a time on there. It says 5th uh, of the 4th. No, actually, 4th of the 5th, 23, 821. The time now is 829. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, that time's probably wrong, actually. I haven't set the time in this. So that does it make sense to set your time. So let me know if you're using this without radio information. Track. Oh, look, do you see that? When I put track, it actually did something. Let's go back. Choose another one. And we'll do track again. 
So at the last one move, let's do a different one. Let's go back, down, educational. We'll choose one at random. We'll hit that and we'll hit track. No, I'm not seeing anything obvious. But yeah, check it out. I mean, you know, I'm not teaching here. I'm just more showing. Uh, to get the latest update, you just well, it should it should you should get a message on your on your radio anyway, and you you know you can use it with the a tablet. You know the P P seven is it uh, P ten B one B one plus, and the the download I believe is latest dot rfinder dot net. I'm pretty sure that's what you're going to put in. I'll put a link in the description. But otherwise, you'll just get a message like I did. I I got a message and um and I just said download it and it did it for me. So thanks very much for watching my channel. Remember with the Rfinder pro, uh, system, you've got DMR, VHF, you can enter the frequencies at the top of the screen, change power, you've got memories, the memories are stored on a cloud, you can import them, export them, you've got the worldwide database there as well. So instantly adds, you know, you select the one you want and it will set the parameters. You don't have, you don't need a code plug, you don't need a hotspot. Let's close the directory. ROIP, you don't, this is the reason you don't need a hotspot because it will connect me to my favorite talk group uh, at the touch of a button. It, that is using the internet, it's not an antenna. But if I want, I can fire up my, my PyStar hotspot, my open spot, any other one I've got. Just turn that up, see if anyone comes through. And you've got a sync button here. If it's not coming through clearly, you hit sync, it refreshes it, comes through. And you've got a big long list here now of different things you can tinker with. QRG offsets is like your B, you know, BER adjustments. Swipe across, or hit the what they call the pancakes up here, these three lines, but swipe across does the the same thing. Um, you know, you only have to pay for one account and you can install this on several devices. Um, you've got my subscription info, settings, propagation there for, oh, I must have hit satellite, uh, sorry, QRZ by accident. Let's go again, propagation. You get this window come up and that's helpful for your, for knowing the propagation. You can hear now that's talk group 91. If you just tap, you just put the talk group in, set parameters and it'll just start using it. You're reliant on your internet connection, so it's as good as that. More options here, look, update R Finder, and you get messages, other items there. Mic gain as well. What else we're looking at? DMRIP, R Finder network. That's a private sort of way of communicating within the R Finder system. You have to come out of DMROIP to do that. Yeah, so you just yeah. to come out, you just hit that button and log out of DMROIP. We're now effectively a normal VHF, UHF, and analog radio. So we just go back like so. Let's go to, where is it? Uh, I'll find a network. And these are people that are on the system. Obviously, I have, you have to tell them you're on the system. And there's even map, even a map that starts to show you those people in the, in the whole world. Remember, our finder is a worldwide linking of amateur operators so you know it's you know people say why get an r finder because i can do all of that and then i can go home and i can go on zello and go on to echo link and and zello and peanut as well we've got two separate ptt's one for the radio one for the zello part i can go on to zello and if i want i can call out m0 fxb audio check and someone will probably come back to me that's how you know, that's how good it is. And you get all the functionality of the, app, of, of the apps. And not just the apps, any app. That's the thing as well. You know, we've got all kinds of apps here. So I'm getting a bit lost in my, uh, in my apps. You know, Pina, Rfinder. I've even got my Messenger on there for messages. And, and remember, and it's a real phone. People, you can phone people. You can put an SD card in it. You can put a SIM card in it, uh, and on and on and on. You can Bluetooth pair devices, volume up and down separate as well for the uh, Zello sort of apps that you may use. Headphone set, fingerprint sensor by the looks of it, back button here, and on and on and on. So why do you get a device like this? 
because you get so much. And yes, yes, of course, you have to pay for the privilege because there's a lot of technology that's gone into this and it's hardware, it's, you know, it's every, you know, there's so many things and the work that's gone into to this to get it to a point. And if you need help with it, all you do is go on, go to your Google, type in Zoom, dot rfinder.net and you will be speaking to bob greenberg the creator straight away if he's available and he will help you and if he can't help you then others will or he'll come back he'll drop you a message and even if it's really difficult and it takes a long time a lot of perseverance to correct things it will be corrected all these items when you buy them they are guaranteed you know they have, they hold a warranty they have a warranty I know it's China, but they, they can be returned and, and, and items can be corrected. So thanks for watching my channel, M0FXB YouTube channel. 7-3, all the best.